I'm Abby Evans. Samola Ogunlade. I'm Lilia Francis. I'm Victoria Marecki, and I'm interested in possibly pursuing a career as an actuary. And I plan to major in neuroscience. I'm interested in being a biomedical engineer. Future CEO of my own tech company. It's sad that only 2 out of 10 is the result of that, but I think it's going to change. I think it's slowly changing now because all you hear about these days, especially in education for, for women, is get into STEM. It's a really good opportunity and kids are starting to realize what STEM is. I believe that boys and girls should be able to have the same opportunity um, in regards what, to what kind of career they want to choose. Well, I think um, women who are interested should pursue the career that they want to pursue. It doesn't matter if you're um, male or female, you should be able to pursue the career that you, you love and it's your passion. Because women can be adventurers and they can be interested in science and technology and, and math, especially young girls and young kids in general because they can do whatever they set their mind to and whatever they dream to be in the future if they set their mind to it. Especially nowadays, um, you say media and you think social media and of course Boys and girls are all over social media constantly, and it's really important to get the positive aspects of media into the minds and, and have it in the forefront of what the kids in general are looking at. And if you only see men in these areas, the girls don't really think that it's something for them. I realize the lack of representation of women um, in STEM in the media, probably most prevalent um, this year in my Cal class, I walked in the first day and I wasn't really sure who was in the class and I realized that there were only three girls and that just kind of really surprised me. I think representation is the most important thing. Um, little girls being able to see that it is possible for them to be interested in science and math and they're just as good as any other boy. Getting out of high school, you know, you're interested in getting into college and knowing basically what you're going to study and I always wanted to be a teacher so when I put the math and the teaching together that's what I wanted to do but then I was exposed to a lot more that I could have done in college with the computers being that that was just brand new and developing stages and I noticed that more of the men and the boys were more interested in the engineering and there was very few girls in my category and at the time I graduated college there was even fewer girls that had dropped out of that program and moved on to, into other fields. But I'd say if someone's feeling like they can't do something because there's only guys I'd say that's wrong. There might be more but you can definitely do it and be the first. So, math is really fun and it's really interesting. I'm really, really good at it. My teacher actually said, um, okay, I'm starting a new subject and I know all of you are going to hate it, except Nilia, because she's, she's, she's good at this. So in my head, I was smiling, laughing, because I was like, oh my goodness gracious, that's amazing that my teacher even notices <laughs> that, that I love math and science. But you do with your life, as long as you enjoy it, that's the most important thing. And don't let anyone hold you back and say, oh, it's just a, a boy thing, or it's a guy thing, or you're, you're going to have um, you know, too much work to do, and you're not going to be able to have fun in your life, because you can totally have it all. It's just that it's really important that they continue to investigate and see what areas of that um, STEM program that would be interesting to them. Representation of women um, in STEM is very important because um, First off, so they can inspire young kids or young women to pursue the career that they're interested in. And also it's important because it doesn't matter if you're um, male or female, you should be able to pursue the career that you, you love and it's your passion. Um, I remember a couple years ago I read an autobiography by Marie Curie and I thought that was really cool that there was this woman who made all these really important strides in science. So that's what kind of inspired me. I think it's important for little girls to see women being scientists, being mathematicians, or whatever, and seeing that it is possible. People who say that girls can't do anything challenging, I, I definitely think that they're wrong because I believe that um, women can hold the same jobs that men can, and it doesn't matter what gender you are. In order to bring more people in, there's already more and more women and different people of different backgrounds and 
different demographics joining STEM fields and joining all of the different fields, I think just with time, it's going to get a lot better because we'll just see more and more people like us doing the things that we want to do. I think if someone said to my face that STEM was a man's field and women aren't capable, I probably wouldn't say anything to them because I don't want to fuel them and their ignorance. I would just show them through doing what I love and having accomplishments. I'd have to follow what Oprah said the other night and said women are, are out there and hold on we're coming in and it's a wide open opportunity for women to say uh-uh we can do just as much as a man can and it shouldn't be anything about just the women or the men it should be the best person for the job and I think more women that want to get into the field are, are really excited about it and I think it's, it's growing and I think that's, that's really a positive thing.